everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. Uh, we are continuing our video series on the urban fishing hotspots. Today we are in Mississauga at Lakefront Promenade Park to do a little bit of fishing. Lakefront Promenade Park has lots of accessible shoreline for easy fishing on Lake Ontario. This park will be featured in two videos as there are two areas of the park with great fishing locations, although they are a short drive apart. This video showcases three different fishing locations in the south end of the park. There is no admission cost, lots of free parking, it's a 15 minute walk from the nearest bus stop, and there's a public washroom near the parking lot beside the boat launch. There are several garbage and recycling bins, a large shaded picnic area, and on the other side of the park, there is a playground, splash pad, and another shaded picnic area with washrooms. There is a fishing line receptacle located on the dock beside the boat launch for easy and convenient use before leaving the park. There is also a sign with information about preventing the entry of Asian carp by our colleagues from the Invading Species Awareness Program. You can report sightings of Asian carp, which includes silver, bighead, grass, and black carp to the Invading Species Hotline or on EDMAPS, an early detection and distribution mapping system. This small inlet is very calm and likely a good fishing spot. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to try fishing here, but you can fish along the shoreline. If you choose to fish from the dock beside the boat launch, be sure to be aware and respectful of boaters and others using this area. The locations where we were fishing in Lakefront Promenade Park are in Fisheries Management Zone 20. However, there are fishing locations in the park that are in Fisheries Management Zone 16. Always check the regulations to know the slot sizes and open seasons for each species prior to going fishing. These zones have different regulations, so be sure to carefully read and understand the regulations. A link to the regulations can be found in the description below. So whenever I check out a new location, I always like to really be vigilant and check all the signage to make sure that we are able to fish. Sometimes you can't just rely on, an, on anyone else telling you that you can fish there. You have to do your due diligence and do a bit of research. So Annie and I usually walk each site to make sure there's no new fishing signs. And in this case, I try to avoid um, the boat areas where there's marinas. If you're just casting along the shoreline here and you're never actually getting close to any of those boats, you should be pretty good. So when I came out here, uh, Annie was trying the presentation with a bobber hook and worm. It's a very good presentation to test out when you're first starting a new location. To double down, I used a diver and I generally cast out and reeled it along the edge of these rock lines. I was trying to target a pike that do like to kind of, you know, find their way into marina's areas just like this. Bass isn't open yet, but I could have also tried a topwater lure or other uh, presentations to attract some of the fish. One of the key things about angling is having polarized glasses and not only putting them on your head but actually using them. The first location where we tried fishing was protected from the break wall, away from the marina, and had lots of rocks and some vegetation for habitat. Okay, so the setup that we are using to go fishing today is we have a bobber and a worm on a hook. So we have our bobber about three feet from the end of our line where our hook is. We change it depending on the depth of the water that we're fishing in. So in this location, we want it about three feet up. And then we have some weights on here. We just pinch them on our line. We have two weights to make sure that our worm will sink down and our bobber will stay at the top of the water. And then we've just hooked our worm on and we're ready to fish. This park is very well maintained with trails along Lake Ontario and around the Lakefront Promenade Marina and Port Credit Yacht Club. In these areas that are protected by break walls on the edge of Lake Ontario, depending on the time of year, you can expect to hook onto panfish, trout, salmon, bass, and pike. You can expect to be most successful catching panfish with a hook, bobber, and a worm on the edge of a weed bed or near large rocks. Try using a wacky rig or shallow crankbait for bass, or an inline spinner or silver spoon for trout or pike. We move to the fishing node next. There were ducks and swans in the area when we were visiting the park. Always be respectful when fishing as you don't want to harm any wildlife and do not feed any animals, including waterfowl and other birds. This location was very low pressure for fishing. It would be a great place to bring friends or family if you want to get out and try fishing. 
All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. And if you want more tips on other places in the GTA to go fishing, go ahead and check our playlist. We have lots more fishing videos coming and we've already put quite a few up. See you next time. Thank you.